13 year old Siobhan Randall was an innocent victim in a bizarre and deadly drug plot. She was kidnapped and held for ransom before being killed. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Aguirre. John is off tonight. We've been following the developments in this case since it began in June, and the people of Dallas have been leaving balloons and flowers for this sweet child's memory. Our Damon Fernandez is there live tonight. Damon, the city wants to clear all of that away now? Yeah, you know, Cynthia, we've been seeing a lot of people stop by this house today, many of them stopping by here to take pictures, knowing city crews are just hours away from removing what's left of a memorial outside this place. It was sad. On the 2200 block of East Keast, every time you pass this house, you think about her. This small boarded up white house is a haunting reminder of the torturous tragedy that happened here back in July. Every morning I pass by and say a prayer every morning. Messages scribbled on the walls are part of a memorial to Siobhan Randall, the 13 year old Lancaster girl who was kidnapped and killed here. High weeds are blocking some of those notes now and shading the memories other community members left for 19 year old Michael Titus, whose body was also found here. It was a sense of people that cared. It showed how much people cared about that young lady. For weeks, stunned community members have been stopping by this lot, building a memorial of teddy bears and balloons. Most of those are damaged now, piled and scattering the lawn. They want to see it clear. Neighbor Jessica McGee says the conditions out here are becoming an eyesore. Everything clear. The house, the weeds, the grass, the trash, everything. The city of Dallas announced it's planning to send crews to the house Friday morning. They'll be cutting down the high weeds and removing the memorial. Bernice McGee says it's all been spilling onto an already ragged sidewalk, making it hard for her to get around. Yeah, I should have to walk to the street to get to the store. But this baby should have had to die with some damn drugs. That's all I got to say. This house and what happened here has been emotional for many in the community. When they see it gone, it's going to hurt a lot. Folks like Gerald Mosley think removing the memorial now may be too soon. That's going to take a lot out of people. You know, when you move that marble, because we still, it's still soaking in. And it's the investigation still going on, them, and they parents still mourning. Now that code compliance crew is expected to be back out here tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock to begin removing what's left out here. Now the city's mayor pro tem is still urging community members to submit their ideas on what they think should ultimately happen to this place back here. Damon Fernandez, Channel 8 News.